different ways to market in command. Okay. So we're going to go over that. Okay. Um, and I encourage y'all to follow along just so that way you can see um, everything that I'm doing. Okay. All right. So the first thing we'll do is obviously log into command, which is agent.kw.com. Okay. And that brings you here where you can log in. <clears throat> so a few different things to know. We have designs, which that's where you can create all sorts of marketing pieces. Similar to Canva, if you've ever used that. Mm -hmm. um, designs is right over here. And you'll see it right here where the paintbrush is on the paper. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you can design um, different social media posts, even like the cover photos and banners for your Facebook. Um, you know, it's already designed the right proportion and everything so that you can upload it there. There's also your um, like print materials. So like your buyer's consultation, your listing presentation, which I think we went over that, right, Rose? Yes, but Did I still need to, it? I worked on it, but I'm, I'm not sure where I'm, I'm, I'm falling short on something because when I'm saving, uh, I have like three, three or four templates that have been saved when I'm still trying to work on the same presentation. I'm like, okay, I'm not doing something right. Oh, okay. It should just save the one time. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. We'll have to look into that a little bit. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> I'm switching okay. over. Sorry. Oh, no problem. I figured. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, your, your designs, you got all that. Um, you can also design like business cards that you can print yourself. Now those are not business cards that you have a company print for you at the moment. It's just where you can print it yourself. Um, there's also brochures, door hanging, uh, door hangers, um, all sorts of stuff. Okay. So you can create marketing pieces there. Now campaigns is where we can create like email campaigns that will automatically email clients. So we'll go over um, those. And also if we have time at the end, I'll go over um, posting a paid ad on Facebook. Okay. Right. So we'll start in designs. And so when you get in designs, yours might be blank. If you've never messed with designs before, if you have used it, you'll see some of your templates pull up here because this is going to show you whatever saved um, designs you've already created. Okay. But to create a new design, you're going to click the blue plus sign at the bottom right. And so here you'll see email, social, print, video, and import PDF. Now, I do want to show you all this because um, it's just really cool and it's so easy to make with command. These videos, it literally takes two seconds to create one of these. And it's just so handy that you can download this and put it on your social media and it looks very professional. So I'm going to show that to y'all real quick. Okay. <clears throat> and you create this through designs. Can y'all see this? Okay. Y'all can see the video, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's really cool. And all you do is in designs, you just go to the blue plus sign and click video. Okay. And as soon as you get in there, you click next and 
all you have to do is just select what neighborhood you want to do it for. So let me just type one for an example. So you can't do by zip code. It has to be the name of the of the sub area or the neighborhood. I believe that's still how it is. Let me double check. Yeah, it's okay. got to be the neighborhood. Okay, neighborhood name. So once you type that in, you just find the correct one. I'm just going to pretend that this one's correct, just okay. for the example. And then you click next. And then it'll auto populate information here, or you can update it. Um, obviously it didn't update this part, um, but you would just, anything that doesn't look like it's updated, you could add that in there. Okay. And then it auto populates your information already and also your market centers info. So all you do is click next okay. and then it's gonna make your video. So very, very simple. And then once it finishes saving, or creating the video, you can download it, add that to social media, um, add it to an email that you send people, all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. So that's a really neat little tool that people don't talk about as much. I, don't, I just don't think people know about it. So I definitely wanted to teach y'all. <laughs> I'll definitely do one tonight. I'm going to post one tonight because I need to start posting a little bit more on my social media sites. Yes, that'd be great. Awesome. Okay, so we've got that. Um, like I said, you can also go in here, email. This would be to create email templates. So Rose, I know you already made an email. Right. Um, now, when you go through this, you can edit different templates. So let me just show you all that. You click email and next. And basically it pulls up I think there's 75 or 72 different templates <clears throat> that KWRI has created in here. And so you can look through these, load more. Once you see one that sounds intriguing, that kind of what you're wanting to make, you could just click on it and click next. And then it will load it in here and you can see what it does. Now, obviously, you can go in here and edit anything in these. You can add pictures. Um, you can even add a video, as you'll see over here. And all you do to do um, to add stuff is, let's say you wanted to add an image, you would click image and just drag it over here. And wherever that green line is, it's going to go right below it. Oh, okay. Okay. So then if you've uploaded images before, it'll pop up here. If you have it, you can find listing images of houses in the MLS, or you can add an image from your computer right here. Okay. And then with the video, you drag it over here. And then once you edit it, you would just um, right here, put the video URL. Right. And then um, it would put that video in here. So like if you made a video and put it on YouTube, you could link that video right here and add that to your email. Okay. Um, something to keep in mind is once you make any changes, um, like let's say I double click in here and it brings up the font over here. Now you see I've typed hello. You have to click done for it to save your changes and then it'll populate over here. For the longest time, I didn't realize that and I kept clicking save and then it wouldn't save it over here. And I was like, what's going on? <laughs> so, so done means save. Yes, done for whatever means. changes you're doing to the piece as you go along. Well, <clears throat> You know, uh, I wanted to create a an email campaign, and uh -huh. I wanted to talk about the um, the KW app, and I wanted to see if I could find a YouTube video to put in there to kind of let them know what 
you know, people want to know what what is the app and what does it do and how can I use it before they actually select the option to, to download something to their phone, you know? Yes. So there are definitely videos that KWRI has in YouTube. Let me see if I can find that for you. KW. Let's see if we can find one real quick. This is from just a year ago. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay. So all you would do is just click the share button and copy this link right here. Oh, cool. And then on your video. Okay. We would click edit and then paste that right here. Okay, copy paste, okay. What is this alt text? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay. It's a short description that displays when subscribers cannot access an image. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really sure I'll have to research more about what that means. Okay. Um, but so I put that in there. And so now it should populate whenever, um, let me see. Yeah, when you save it. Okay. And open it, it should populate the video there. Okay. <clears throat> um, any other questions about creating an email template? Mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Did we get a notification who, how many emails got opened up or who unsubscribed or? So I know they're still working on that. Okay. They are, um, I don't think it's active yet, okay. but they're working okay. on it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it should be pretty soon that we'll be able to see all that data. Yeah. Well, it's a psychology thing, Christina, because at my other firm, you were able to see who unsubscribed you and you would get so offended. You're like, mm -hmm. that's my cousin. We just talked the other day about <laughs> about my new real estate venture and she has subscribed me already oh i tell you yeah y'all well, really want to do that because that really gets to you mentally <laughs> <laughs> yes it really can <laughs> yeah so you're good just don't even look at it <laughs> oh i love it Okay, so that's the email templates, which once you are in the campaigns to send out your email templates or when you're in smart plans to set, you know, when you're setting up smart plans, you can attach whatever email that you just built through designs, you can add that into your smart plan as well. So there, it all ties together. There's several ways that you can use the emails, okay? <laughs> Um, social posts, that's pretty explanatory. That's where you do all your social media stuff that I was talking about and print. Um, like I said, you can create, um, all sorts of materials that you can print, even postcards that you can print yourself as well. Okay. So does anyone have more questions on designs? Mm, I think I'm okay for now. Okay. <laughs> Crystal, how about you, dear? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to move to campaigns so we can go over a few different things. So <clears throat> first of all, this is where you can create your emails that you can schedule out, you know, you can schedule even out for a year. Let's say you wanted to do a monthly newsletter, you could create them all through here and schedule it for it to send, you know, the first of every month or whatever you want to do. Okay. So how you do those is you just click on campaigns, which is this little megaphone. Okay. And then click create a new campaign at the top, right? Okay. <clears throat> and once this loads, you're going to click email because we're creating an email campaign. Okay. 
So then once you're here, let's just say we want to title it monthly newsletter April, for example. Now these goals right here, it doesn't matter as far as like the effectiveness of the campaign or anything like that. It's just for your records. So whatever your goal is with this email, if you're trying to advertise a listing, attract listings, et cetera. I'm just gonna say other. And then I highly recommend using command email. MailChimp is awesome. Now, I don't really use it anymore because command is so much easier. Um, MailChimp is really cool, but you really have to build everything. Um, there's no like pre-built templates like there are with command email. Okay. So if you're a really creative person, have fun with MailChimp. It's awesome. But if you're just looking to like get it done and it looks really great and it's already done for you, just use command email. <laughs> So once we click command email, we're going to click set up campaign. And a side note, you do get 5,000 free emails every month with command email. <clears throat> so that should be plenty for now until y'all are just like mega agents, you know, with thousands of emails a month. <laughs> what does it cost after 5,000? I don't think it's much more. Um, I don't know the prices off the top of my head, but. I really don't think it's much more. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So here it shows what email um, this account is through. So that's who they'll respond to. Um, you'll see right here also who they respond to when they see the email, who it would, who it would reply to. Sorry. <laughs> if I can get the words out, y'all. Goodness. <laughs> Okay, recipients list, this is choosing who you're wanting the audience to be, that you want this to go to. So you could click create list if you haven't done this already. Just keep in mind you have to name it. So let's say I wanted to name it uh, West Fort Worth Agents. Then here we could actually filter the database by our tags. And I'll just say agent. Oh, I don't have none in there. But anyways, let's just say, <laughs> I'll just do these for example. Buyers. We could, um, it'll pull up all the buyers in here and then you can select all and then confirm. So that'll save your list. So basically, I named this list West Fort Worth agents and then I tag sorted by my tags. And so all these people would be in that email. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Once you've already created a list though, you'll see your list right here. So okay. um, down here, you choose your subject. So whatever you want to call it, if it's a monthly newsletter, maybe um, here's this month's newsletter or however you want to say it. And then content, you would click that. It's going to automatically populate my templates, which is the ones I've already created through designs. Those emails that we, I was just showing you all how to create. Okay. So these are all the ones that I've designed in there. Um, so or go ahead. Okay, so Christine, if these are monthly newsletters, are these, um, so do we have to put the information in there ourselves or are these um, like forward newsletters? Like where's the information coming from? What, you know, this, you know what I mean? Are they already yeah. put together for us? Well, so just like I was just showing you that um, if you start in designs, you can start that way where you build it first. Or you can literally just go in like I just did. Okay. You know, I'm in the email campaign. When you click content down here, select design content. This automatically pulls up what I've already created, but you can select a, a new one right here, KWRI templates. Okay. So any of these newsletters, those are basically like designed 
but the content is just, um, it, it's not like applicable. It's just showing you what the font looks like with random words and stuff. So oh. that way you can see the layout of it. Okay. So these are more um, where you create an actual newsletter yourself. Now, okay. what I recommend for a monthly newsletter, you can literally, depend on what month it is, you know, if it's a holiday, you could choose one that's talking kind of about that holiday, which you'll see some in here. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Oh, like Happy Thanksgiving. That could be November's. Okay. And to preview it, you just click those dots in preview template. So see, it's already built for you. Okay. Now, if you wanted to edit anything, you can still edit it also. But that's what I would recommend. Just do like one a month. Um, you know, they got Valentine's, New Year's, Happy Holidays, Happy Spring. So you've got probably like six of them in there for holidays. And the other ones, I would just scatter it, you know, maybe do one newsletter that's personalized from you in the midst of all 12. And then the other ones you could just do, you know, buying versus renting or mm -hmm. um whatever you know there's all sorts of stuff in here where was the other ones <clears throat> um even if you have some listings you could promote your listings in a newsletter one month okay uh work with me buyer that's a good one to send out okay. with your newsletters or work with me seller mm -hmm. so and promoting your app. So you'll see there's there's definitely enough in there to do 12 total for the year. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I'm gonna use this one for this example. And it's gonna show us, or it's gonna put it in there and enable us to edit any changes if you want. The other thing I would wanna change is a double click here so I can start with a greeting. So I would say hello. And what's cool is you have this little function here. Okay. That you can click and it'll add the contact's first name. Right here, contact first name. Okay. Like that. That's how I would want to start it. Okay. And then click done. So now it'll auto populate their name in the email. And everything else looks good to me. So I'm going to click save and exit. <laughs> and so um, <laughs> once it's done you and you're ready to send it, you would just click send if you wanted to send it right away or you would click schedule. Well, yeah, I gotta select all that stuff, but you would click schedule if you wanna choose a day in the future and time. Okay, so, so good. you can go ahead and do them ahead of time and then yes. have them auto auto email on the date. Okay. Yep. And honestly, if you're using what's already in there for you, you know, maybe just add a greeting to any of them that don't have a greeting. But other than that, it's it's built. It's ready to go. It can move really fast. All you do is just create your campaign, add recipients, name it you know, throw the template in there and schedule, and then you're on to the next one. Okay. So this is a great way to, um, you know, automate your monthly newsletter for the year. Okay. But obviously you can just send out a random email anytime as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions about the email campaigns besides the errors that I had today when I taught it? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go back to campaigns. Okay. <clears throat> so there are paid ads and the huge benefit of doing paid ads through command is that the algorithms within command, um, basically they know who to pop up to in Facebook land, okay? Okay. <laughs> So you're going to select what um, mile radius from your location 
that you want to advertise to. Let's say you want to do a 20 mile radius from Fort Worth. And then um, you would put keywords in there that help it know who to pop up to as well. So anyone that's been Googling Zillow.com and looking at houses, you could select Zillow as one of the keywords and it's going to pop up to those people within that mile radius as well. Oh, okay. Okay. So for example, this is one I did a couple weeks ago. Well, almost a month now, actually. Um, I got 35 leads. So wow. man, that is awesome. Cause I only spent $30. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. I had 1860 impressions, which that's how many people saw it. 233 people actually clicked on it. Wow. And so my, um, my leads ended up being, um, I believe 13 cents. And what did you advertise a listing? Yes. I, I advertised somebody else's listing, which y'all can do that. All you have to do, go to your MLS and look at my office active listings. Okay. And then find a house that you think is really cool. And then just reach out to that listing agent and say, hey, can I please advertise your listing on 3001 Oak Hill? And a lot of times I'll say yes. Okay. Only a couple of times I've had someone say no. We, we mentioned their names or, or what do we have to mention in the ad in order to uh, use their listing? You don't have to. I've done it before, but honestly, you don't have to because they gave you permission and their name is the one on the listing. So cool. you're good. Okay. Yep. Cool. Um, trying to get this to pull up so I could show you, but it's not wanting to pull it up. Mm. yeah but it just has the picture of the listing and then it um usually I just started off with if you would like to schedule a showing to see this beautiful home um call Christina and I put my phone number and then it just auto populates the description from the MLS okay yep so let me show you how to create one of these okay so you go up to create a new campaign and then you click social ad paid. <clears throat> Once you're here, you always have to name it because see on the left side over here, I've got several different ones. So it just helps you keep track of which ad it is. That's all that is. Mm -hmm. And then let's say we wanted to advertise listing. And then it does allow you to advertise on multiple platforms. <clears throat> um, I would suggest trying that. And then you can kind of see where you're getting the best results after you've done these ads, okay? Um, so I usually do Facebook and Instagram. I wasn't able to add my Instagram to okay. my... <clears throat> so if you are advertising a listing, you are going to click add a listing right here, this blue button. And then you will change the status right here because it auto populates. Um, it always starts by showing you my listings first. So you would click that and change it to all listings. So then you would search by property address and find the correct listing that you were wanting to advertise. I'm just going to pretend that this is the one, okay? So this is pulling from MLS? Correct. Yep, it'll be all listings. Okay. Even from other states. <clears throat> because we do have agents that maybe they have a lot of um, connections. Like I know a few people here that have connections in California or Colorado or New York. So mm -hmm. they'll do ads in those areas, trying to advertise to those people about how awesome the market is in DFW and how they can get such a bigger house for way cheaper than what they're spending there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
So keep that in mind too. Um, but anyways, I'm just gonna click on this one for this example. And then you'll see how it auto populates the picture. Ooh, I'm loving the palm tree. That's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> and then it auto populates the description up at the top from the MLS. So what's cool is as you're building your ad, you'll see it over here on the right side, what it's going to look like. Okay. Okay. So back to over here, you can obviously change this to whatever you want. You don't have to have the MLS description there. You can say whatever you want, but I usually leave it just because it's faster. <laughs> okay, yeah. <clears throat> but you could always start it with contact me for a showing and then put your phone number there. Um, <clears throat> there we go. So um, just for example, that's all I'm putting there right now. Okay. Now headline. This is the bold right here, the bolded headline right here. So you want to be really, um, you got to think, you know, what is going to capture someone's attention? Okay. <clears throat> so I like to make it something that's like kind of intriguing, like you won't believe the views in this house, something like that, okay. that makes people like curious and they want to click on it to see the pictures in the house, you know? Right. Um. So, you know, a question or a statement that's intriguing right here. Or just updated um, brand new kitchen, whatever, granite countertops or whatever, right? Whatever is featuring in the house. Yeah, you could do that. Just really think about, you know, what, when you're looking on social media, what makes you stop your scroll and look at that ad? Because we all get ads. So yeah. what type of verbiage, you know, if there's exclamation marks or question marks or keywords like, um, you know, asking them a question or whatever it may be. That really helps. You know, when you when you think about those things and be a little strategic, it helps you get more clicks. Okay. And so this description right here is very short. It's only going to show you about this much text on the ad. Um, like it said, headline over 40 characters may be cut off, but you have up to 100 characters to put there. So I would just make sure you put something short sure. there. Hey, have you done school? So what I usually do is um, right here, I would just say like click here to see more pictures or something like that. So the description as they're strolling, they're only going to see that first line that you're talking about. But if they click the picture, then they'll see the full description. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So then that first line is also needs to be kind of important, I guess. Yes. This one up here is very important. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> so once you have done everything in here, basically anything with that red asterisk, you've got to fill it out. Okay. Okay. So once you've done that, you click save add text. And then you'll see anything that's completed it has that green check mark. Okay. So all that's left here is we got to click Facebook and Instagram ads. Okay. Now this is very important. So here is where we select which page we want to advertise from. This is where you would put your realtor page. Okay. And now over here, you'll see it changes to my information. Okay. And then if you're doing both Facebook and Instagram, this is where you would choose. Do you want it to be an Instagram ad or an Instagram story? I think I usually do the Instagram um, ad, but whichever one. The story will only be there, what, 24 hours or something? 
No, it'll, um, well, just like the Facebook ad, it pops up to different people. Yeah. And then this part right here, always click use Facebook lead generation form. Because this is how, when they click on this button, learn more, this is the option that tells command to capture the lead. Okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so you click use Facebook lead generation form, and then you know for sure those leads are going to go right into your database when they click on it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so then you'll see button call to action label, learn more. This is talking about this button right here. Most of the time you wanna leave it as learn more because it, the other options are sign up and apply now, see? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times those options will scare people, <laughs> just being honest. Yeah. They yeah, don't want to apply and they don't want to sign up. They just want to see, they want to learn more. Mm -hmm. Now, the times that I would recommend changing it is, let's say you're doing an event and you need RSVPs. That's when I would say sign up now or whatever. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So follow up destination URL. This is the page that it's going to take them to after they click learn more. Mm. So the easiest one to do is just click choose landing page right here and agent site homepage. So basically, as soon as they click on your ad, it's gonna take them to your website. Now there are ways to build a landing page um, and it's super easy. So if we finish this and we have a few minutes left, I can show you all that too. Okay. But this is the easiest option. You Thank would just you. click. Okay. Yep. So right here, add targeting. This is where you're choosing your mile radius and all of that that you want to advertise to. So it automatically puts 20 mile radius, but you can click use custom settings. And then change the mile radius up or down, however many mile radius you wanna do. <clears throat> and then right here, add interest. I recommend clicking that because this is where you can add like Zillow, realtor.com, um, first time home buyer, all those keywords. Mm -hmm. So you can search or you can just scroll through and click them. But like first time home buyers in here. It's being super slow. Oh my goodness. There we go. First time buyer and first time. Home buyer grant, that'd be good too. <clears throat> um, realtor for realtor.com. Both of these are good. Um, Zillow. And do Zillow and Premier Agent. So these are all the, this is where it's targeting. This is where it's pulling the leads or the information for, okay. Yeah. Yep. So you can search keywords that way or just scroll through here and pick which ones. You would just click it and then it adds it. You'll see down here, it's adding it as you go. There's six selected so far. So once you've selected everything that you wanna add, you would just click save. And then once again, save Facebook and Instagram ads. So that part is done. And then the last part 
is duration and budget. So it auto populates 10 days and it always starts the day after you create it. So as you'll see, the 21st is tomorrow. So that's when it would start. Obviously, if you're wanting to do an ad to um, that you don't want it to start till Friday, you can change that here. You could just click here and have it start on Friday. So it doesn't have to start on the day that it populates here, okay? Um, and then you can make it a shorter duration. Let's say you only wanted to run the ad for two days. You know, you could do that or three days. <clears throat> and then this is where you choose your total budget. So if you're, it always auto populates $30, mm -hmm. but if you wanted to um, only spend 20, you could just change that right here. And is that daily, $30 daily? No, that's for the whole campaign is $20 total. Oh, now, right okay. here's where it breaks down how much you're going to spend daily. So oh, okay. $3.33 per channel to equal the $20. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. And <clears throat> the last thing is, this won't be here if you're not doing multiple platforms. So if you're only doing Facebook, th this option won't be here. But if you are doing Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, et cetera, I recommend doing use automatic placements for Facebook, Instagram ads. Because like it says here, it intelligently spends your money. <laughs> so it knows which um, platform gives you the best audience and it puts that money towards it. So use automatic placement. Yeah. And then that's it. Once you're done with that, you just click save duration and budget. And then up at the top, publish campaign. And then you would, if you haven't ran one before, you would add your credit card here. Okay. And then create campaign. Cool. Yep. So what's really cool is once these people, once you do these ads, you'll start getting notifications that you're getting leads. Okay. Just like you saw those 35 leads that I got. Okay. So once you get them, you can immediately put them on a smart plan marketing to them. Okay. Um, so for example, these 35 leads, when you click on the number of leads that you got, it takes you to those leads. And you'll see once this loads that I already have them all tagged as Facebook ad lead. Okay. Yeah, okay. So when the lead comes in, just edit it, edit that lead in the contact record and add a tag. And then you can add it, that lead right to a smart plan. So let me show you what I did here, just as an example. So this um, smart plan, let's see. You'll see all the steps it did. So I got the lead on, um, let's see, March 25th, and it sent a text. And then the next day it sent an email. Next day it sent another text. And then a few days later, it sent another text. So anyway, all these things automatically went out to that person. And obviously this person's never responded to me, but that's okay because that happens. <laughs> so, but at the very least, I'm doing my part advertising and marketing to her. So the responses here, are, are you replying to these responses or are, are all these like already automatic templates? that are just automatically replying to her. So all these are from me to her through command. It's my smart plan that I have her on. Okay. So this particular smart plan is called my Facebook listing lead smart plan. And it sends texts and emails and all this 
and it auto populates her name and it looks like it's just coming for me, you know? So that's what I would recommend is to definitely, you know, tag everybody that you get as a lead and put them right onto a smart plan. Okay. Now you can find your smart plan to choose from to add them to in smart plans over here. So um, all you would do is go to library and then you could search Facebook right here at the top. And hit enter. And then it'll show you any smart plans that are built for Facebook ad follow-up. Okay. <clears throat> so you would look at these and let's see, you click view steps. Do you see that's under each of these? Okay. And then it'll show you what it does. So this one gives you a script, what they recommend you say if you call them. Oh, cool. And then it also texts them and it shows you what it texts to them. Now, obviously this one is already personalized. So just be careful when you're choosing smart plans that if it, you see how this says, this is Chris with Keller Williams, blah, 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 with all his info. Yeah. You would have to make sure if you liked the way this is worded, that you go into that smart plan and edit it and put your information. So that way it doesn't send that other person's info. <laughs> okay. How do we edit? How do we edit that? <laughs> so as soon as you add smart plan, it goes to my smart plans over here.